guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I thought I would do a story time video because I know I love watching story time videos so maybe anybody watching this will enjoy my video. Yes, I did change my hair back to black. I like black a lot better so that's what I'm doing. So being recently single, I've been going on a couple of dates and I was thinking about what was my worst date ever. So this is the story of my worst date. I had met him through my stepdad. My stepdad goes fishing a lot and he had met him. He was a couple years older than me, maybe one or two years older. And I was probably 16 at the time, so this was about three years ago, roughly three years. Long story short, I added him on Facebook. Um, he asked me out through Facebook, so we had a plan for that Friday to go out. And it was around 7, 7.30 we were supposed to go out. Around 6 o'clock he told me that he was stuck in Best Buy in a town that was 30 minutes away from us and I and he asked me if if he could pick me up bring me to Best Buy and then we can go on our date and I was like a little weirded out I'm like I don't really want to go a half hour away to Best Buy to watch you pick out car speakers I think it was I don't know it was weird so I told him go run your errands and then and then text me and let me know when you're on your way I was fine with that no problem like pick me up whenever you can not being like, oh my god, you didn't pick me up, like, why are you late? Like, I don't really care. So, and mind you, I'm wearing boots, jeans, and like a nice t-shirt. And, um, not a t-shirt, like a nice shirt, like a nice dressy shirt. It's to my house, and he drives a big truck, and he gets out of his car, and he has no shoes on, and he's wearing board shorts. And if you don't know what board shorts are, I'll, like, insert a picture, like, right here. Um, I don't know. I felt like I was a little too overdressed and I feel like he was a little underdressed. So that kind of freaked me out. Board shorts are kind of like, like swim trunks. And I guess like a lot of people in our town wear that because we're like a very big, like beachy kind of town. So I was kind of like turned off by that. I was like, that's a little weird. Like you're going on a date with somebody like you don't wear swim trunks, you know? So anyway, I was like, whatever, like let's just go on the date. So I get in his car, we're driving, and he asked me, so I, I know you like sushi, do you want to go out to dinner and get sushi, or do you want to get sushi from the grocery store? Like, what? Like, I'm not gonna get groceries or sushi. I don't know. Maybe I'm just being too, like, prissy for that, too uh, bougie for public sushi, but I was just not, like, not my thing. So I told him, I said, let's just go out and eat somewhere. So we sit down, everything's fine, normal, we order our food, everything's good. We're just talking, you know, normal like first date things like your family and your pets and whatever else. He ordered some kind of Thai food and I ordered sushi, of course. One thing that happened during the dinner that really, really, really freaked me out was he kept talking about alcohol. Mind you, I'm only 16 at the time, I cannot drink, I'm not near the legal drinking age in the USA. He kept talking to me about how he had alcohol in the back of his truck. Because he had the truck and then he had like the little top that goes over the truck and he said he has a cooler in the back of his truck that has Jack Daniels and whatever, whatever else he said he had. And he's like, you can drink if you want, you can drink if you want. And I said, I was like, no, thank you, like, I don't want to drink, like, I'm 12. <laughs> I was like a little creeped out at that. Why did he want me to drink? Like, it wasn't... I don't know, it was weird. So we're eating and I dropped my little sushi roll in the soy sauce container and I was trying to get it out and I was like, oh, I can't get it out. And I look up and he, he looks at me and he's like, that's what she said. What did you just, did you just, I like, I stood back for a second and I was like, ha, like, that's so funny. Like, no, you're disgusting. And I think he kind of got the vibe that I was like, that's like not funny, like on a date, like on a first date, especially like if you said that like another time, I'd be like, oh, you're an idiot, whatever. But like on a first date and then the next words out of this kid's mouth, I'm so perverted. What have I got myself into is what I was thinking. Did this, did he just... He did. He, he just said that. So, me being like slightly baffled, I'm like, 
haha, funny, like, haha, you know? So, fucking weird, weird shit. So we're eating, having a good old time, you know, with his perverted self, very weird. My phone, my phone beeps, and I look down, and guess who it is? It's him. He literally texted me from across the fucking table. And do you want to know what this text message said? Do you, you want to know what this text message said? So, like me yet? Did he just text me from across the table asking me if I liked him yet? After he said he was a pervert? He did. He did. That, that's what happened. My god. And I tried to, tried to avoid this question so bad. How do I say, like, I don't like him? Like, how do I say that I don't like him without being, like, a bitch? I looked at him and I said, why are you texting me? Like, trying to play it off. Like, haha, like, stop. Like, you need to, like, not do that. I was just kind of like, Fuck. Like, I'm in a bad situation. Like, he's asking me to drink. He's calling himself a perv. Like, now he's being creepy, asking me if I like him. And, oh my god. So I, I really, honestly, like, I played it off pretty well. I was just like, haha, like, why are you texting me? Whatever. So I think the only thing in, on the state that he did right was he paid for my meal. Like, thank you. Like, you got one point for that. One point. And you're minus 15, but you got one point, so good job. So then we leave, and of course we go to his truck, and he shows me the alcohol that he has, and asks me again, do you want a drink? No, I don't want a drink, no, like, thank you, like, I'm good, like, I don't want a drink. We get back in his truck, and, you know, we're driving, and like I said, we're kind of like a beachy, kind of surfer town, so... He asked, do you want to go to the beach? And I was like, sure, like, I didn't want to be like, no, like, I can't. Like, I honestly, at that point, I wanted to get out of the state. Like, this was bad. Like, I was like, no, like, I want to go home, like, not feeling it. Like, you're not cute anymore. Like, I don't want to, like, no. You know? I was like, fine, like, whatever. Like, I'll stay at the beach for, like, 20, 30 minutes, and I'll say, like, I have to go home or something. We get to the beach, and the beach that we went to, it had a gate, and the gate would close after maybe 9, 10 o'clock. So, whatever. We parked, we parked in there. And there's a little hotel by this beach. So we walked over to the hotel and they have like hammocks and hot tubs and a pool and a restaurant and stuff like that. So we went in there and, and a lot of people in our town kind of just go in there and hang out and use the pool and like whatever. So it wasn't like too like weird like why are we going into this random hotel. So we go over to where the hammocks are and there was like a little table next to the hammock. So we just sat down there and we were just talking like about normal stuff. I had gotten onto a subject that was kind of like important to me, like a serious kind of something happened in my life, like let me share it with you kind of thing. And I swear, the whole time I was talking about this, he was looking away, looking up, like. And I'm just like talking, talk, talking, just, just looking up, like. And then he goes on about fishing or cars, and I'm just like, thanks for listening to my story. I'm over here like I really don't care about fish like listen to me and then this whole do you like me yet thing comes back again and he's asking me like why am I not answering his question and he's texting me different emojis like I honestly wish I still had this text message because it was so creepy and crazy and just sending me random text messages like do you and he's right next to me. Like, I'm telling you, like, this kid is right next to me. He's texting me. And he's sending me emojis and, like, happy face emojis and, like, question mark emojis. Like, do you like me yet? And I'm just like, oh, my God. I'm like, this is so awkward. Like, how do I be, like, no without being, like, mean or, like, have it be awkward when he's, like, dropping me off at home? So I'm like, ah, uh, like... I don't know, like, I'll tell you later, or something like that, I kept saying. And so eventually he gave up, and I was like, hey, like, I have a big day tomorrow, like, I have to go home, like, can you drop me off at home? We were walking back on the beach to his truck, and we get on, like, the sidewalk near the parking lot, and he ends up, like, walking behind me, like, I was walking in front of him to his truck, and I'm like, 
we're just kind of like walking in silence, you know, and it was weird. And then all of a sudden he grabs like the sides of my hips and he, he like trying to like tickle me almost. And I'm like not ticklish at all. Like when people touch me, I'm just like, why are you doing that? Like that's weird. So he did that and I like looked over and I was just like, oh, what are you doing? <laughs> and then the, the next thing he says is just like, why? Like, who cares? He says, I'm really good at being quiet behind people. Yeah, that doesn't make me fucking terrified at all. Like, that's fucking weird. Like, what are you gonna, like, sneak up behind somebody and, like, kill them? Like, I was like, what the fuck? Like, that's a weird shit. And I was just like, haha, like, that's funny. Whatever, like, trying to play it off, like, that I'm not creep the fuck out. Just, I keep walking and whatever. He's still behind me. Still behind me, like, walking quietly and I'm like, <laughs> like, what are you doing? Like, come, come over here. Like, like, why are you behind me? We get back to his truck and we realize that the gates are locked and they lock them for the whole night. The next thing he says to me is, looks like we're going to have to sleep in my truck tonight. The next thing I think in my head is, hell no, no way. Oh my god, like this kid is like super creepy. And then we got into his truck and I remember we were trying to figure out any kind of way that we can get out of, it, get out of the gate because it was locked. There was no way. He had the huge truck. There's no way he could like kind of get by it and he had these tools in his truck he was trying to unlock it with and whatever, whatever. And like he could not get it open. He has tinted black windows and I was sitting on the passenger side just like kind of sitting there like waiting for him to figure something out and he was on the outside of his truck and he's staring at me he's staring at me from outside and I look over and I'm like haha like what are you doing like ha. and he comes back around he's like you can't see me huh and I'm like haha kind of like I can see you, like, I don't know, it was really, 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 really weird. I was in the passenger side of the truck, and I saw he had opened, like, the glove box, or, like, the little center console, that's what it's called, center console, and there was, like, knives in there, and I was like, oh my god, like, I'm going to die, like, this kid is going to cut me up and kill me, like, so, so freaky. I think they're called switchblades, I don't know, but he had that, and then he had, like, rope and stuff, too, and I was like... <laughs> I was like, oh my god, like, I'm going to die, like, this is fucking terrifying. Like, he has knives, he has rope, like, he could easily kill me in, like, two seconds, and I wouldn't even be able to, like, defend myself because I'm not strong, and I'm not, like, equipped to, like, do that. So I was freaking out, and I was, like, trying not to be, like, too crazy and, like, get me out of here, like, I want to go home. So I was like, why don't I call my stepdad and ask him to help us get out of the gate like he'll know what to do he knows like tools and stuff and maybe he can help us get out so I called my stepdad up and he said hey me and I'll name him Jeff even though I didn't say his name this whole thing me and Jeff are stuck and we need your help we're at this place whatever so my stepdad comes along and um <laughs> stepdad to the freaking rescue like I'm telling you he comes by and he's like, oh, what's going on here? And we were like, yeah, we're stuck, like, help. <laughs> and ends up telling Jeff to call the police department and ask them to unlock the gate so you can get out. And Jeff is like, okay. So he calls and he's on the phone with them and then he gets off and my stepdad's like, oh, what did they say? He said, oh, they'll be here in 10 minutes. And so I was just kind of like, oh my god, now I gotta wait here like 10 minutes for him to get out of the truck. This is awkward. And my stepdad points to me and he's like, kid, you're coming with me. And I was like, oh, like, thank you, thank you, like, you saved me. Like, I didn't have to wait for, like, the people to come to, like, save him. Like, oh, you saved me. And you got me into this freaking predicament in the first place. It's like, oh, so happy. And I got in the car and I just, like... Ah, like sigh of freaking relief. It was so, so creepy. Well, my stepdad rescued me. I got home, whatever. Didn't text him that night because I was like, hell no. Next day, he texts me. He's like, oh, I had a really fun time. Da -da -da, something like that. And I was, I was just like, 
Yeah, me too. Um, I am just really not like into you that much. I said I said something. I think I like just let him down easy. Like you're just not like my type of person. Like that was the end of it. And if he's watching, I'm really sorry. But like you kind of creeped me out a little bit. I think it was kind of scary. So that was my story time video. Um, I hope you liked it. <laughs> I hope you take um, joy out of my pain because it was pretty freaking ridiculous. And that was my worst date ever. <laughs> I hope you guys will like this video and subscribe to my channel. I will try to put more story time videos out. I do have another interesting story. So if you want to hear about that story next, like leave it in the comments and I will definitely do that. I will do that for you guys if you'd like and I have a makeup tutorial coming soon too. So stay tuned for all of that. So definitely come back again because there's definitely going to be more. Hi, that's a chord. Jara, shit on star. What does that even mean? <laughs> <I don't know. laughs> Get out. <laughs> oh my god. Okay.